Hi guys, uh, I'm Muni from SmartTutorials.in. Let's integrate and Java vector map with UJS application that create a using Vue CLI. Let's see what we're gonna achieve in this tutorial. Uh, we're gonna integrate different uh, version of map, uh, Java vector map with a uh, Vue.js application like world, Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, South America like that. Um, so let's go and uh, integrate Java vector map. Okay. Uh, so first you need to create an uh, Vue.js application using VueCLI. VueCLI requires uh, Node.js needs to be installed in your system. So for if you are not installed Node.js, then install uh, Node.js using uh, NVM Node version manager because it helps to uh, help us to maintain different Node.js in your system. So I already released video tutorial. Just go through this and install Node.js for a different. Uh, operating system Mac Ubuntu and Windows so once you had node.js installed check whether node.js are installed by running uh, this command node if and v it will if it is displays the version then you have successfully installed node.js also check npm is installed so by running npm if and v so if it displays version, then npm also installed because npm installed as part of node.js installation you don't need to install separately so once the both is there, then you need uh, 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 then you need to install Vue CLI globally. So copy this command and run this uh, to install uh, Vue CLI uh, in your application. So already installed. Just you you need to uh, run this command. It will automatically install. Once you installed, just check. Whether the Vue CLI is application, a uh, Vue CLI is properly installed in by running this command, Vue iPhone capital V. So it is successfully installed. So I have the all the setup to uh, ready for to create a Vue application. So to create a Vue application, uh, just try, uh, no, try, uh, no, run this command, Vue create your uh, project name. So I am creating Vue space create. I am naming V j vector map so i'm um, by uh, instead of uh, you know uh, view select creates by default i am creating it by manually by pressing a, a down arrow it will come down so enter so by pressing down i am coming down so i'm choosing the uh, what are the features i want for this application i need because I need, uh, say I'm creating a single page application, I need router. So pressing space bar, it will select that feature. Then down, I'm selecting VUX for the store. Also by pressing space bar, it will select the feature. Also, I, uh, I'm selecting C's pro uh, processor. So by pressing space bar, pressing down, it will come down. By pressing space bar, it will select that particular feature. That's it. So press enter. So just I don't want the um, you know history mode as of now for the production. So I'm pressing N. So just enter. That's it. Press on enter. Keep on enter. So it will create. See now it successfully uh, installed uh, required node packages. Now go and start the your uh, local development server. But, First, we need to go to into the project we have created cd v j, v j vector map. So now we are in the folder. Now run npm serve npm run serve. So it will start the local development server. So it started. So open this in your um, browser next uh, we need to add multiple pages uh, to this project so this is where so already I created so I'm just copy pasting it in SRC folder so create a new uh, pages folder in SRC and add uh, six different pages if Asia Africa um, Europe, North America, world like that. Next, open uh, this project in your favorite editor. 
opened it now open router.js just copy paste this routing just create place so on the top of uh, uh, the router.js file import um, all the pages we have created and add the routing to all these pages okay once this done now if you open any of the file so each file uh, we added the reference to the jquery and jvector map now we need to install uh, jquery and jvector map by running this following command so just run this it will install as a dependent also if you see each uh, page as reference to uh, the um, svjs uh, file that has uh, svg path information to draw all the maps okay see just a map just well it has the svg and the latitude longitude information to, to draw any map so each map will has its own map JS file so already has so i'm just copy pasting it to this project folder so everything is there in the project source file you can just download and see so if you see so all map as its own um, uh, uh, svg path info js file okay so so we added uh, reference to jquery and jvector map also we imported uh, the map js for world this is it so also so now in the mounted event uh, also I, I created draw map where i'm initializing uh, a j vector map on passing uh, some options that is map option so which map file needs to be taken and draw on this page uh, so here whatever the value you are giving that needs to be there in the whatever the name here you needs to give um, okay whatever the name you need to give in the option jvector map option so on the mounted uh, event i'm just calling this draw map in the draw map i'm just selecting the this uh, div and destroy okay so let's see yeah that's it so now it is got drawn but um, now it's missing one uh, you know one thing so you need to include um, j vector map css uh, importing so already uh, using SAS, so so it uh, that's why it um, I'm I'm importing J vector map CSS from the node packages we installed. So that's it. So also I'm uh, adding some styles uh, that is I already created. I'm just copy pasting those styles. To this project folder in this I am importing that CSS as here. Let's check. see where I have pasted yeah 
the same folder just copy and go to your project folder yes I see paste it That's it. So it is also it made responsive. So now finally we need to add navigation. Go to open your app dot view navigation. Just paste this. That's it. So that's it. So if you need to open uh, so in Africa so add a new div for the map container also I import so in each page you need to import jQuery reference and jvector map reference then finally you need to import the map JS file for the if it is for Africa it is Africa file if it is for Asia it is Asia file if it is Europe then Aero file and North America it is North America file South America South America file for if it is South America then you need to check uh, the lib file so South America file and open get this name and provide the map file name okay so finally you need to call this function on the mounted event uh, and initialize J vector map and provide the um, map options that's it okay this is all great thanks for watching please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the updates immediately